It is. It is. It, it's our. It's a wound. It's a very sensitive wound. I don't think you have to really talk about race, and, it, and in a lot of ways, it's not really race. Because look, look. Um, if you look at New York, certain parts of New York City, um, the aggregate income or, or the per capita income is higher than it is in, in certain white, certain black communities in New York City. The per capita income is higher than it is. That's in mainly white uh, Caribbean immigrants, though, exactly. right? Caribbean, Caribbean immigrants. Caribbean yeah. immigrants. immigrants yeah. Um, and and they are just as black as we are. So it's not race. Um, in that sense, mm -hmm. it's their attitude, is the is the cultural capital that, that that they bring to it, which enables them to be productive. Both. But when I say race, though, we have we have to address the race problem, race problem, because for the past what forty fifty years, the Republicans been running on this. Uh, 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 southern strategy. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the no, southern no, strategy, no. and the whole thing is that I don't want my tax dollars to go to those that's ne right. Negroes. That's that's true. That, and so is. that's the whole thing. I mean, you're going to give millions of dollars of my tax dollars to these Negroes? Oh no! It is. It is. It's raised that way. But the reason why it's raised that way is because of slavery. Um, the white society had to justify enslaving a, a group of people, um, as Christians especially, uh, who, who are supposed to be. A benevolent toward their brethren, their human brethren. The only way that they can enslave folks is to dehumanize them, and so uh, that 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 dehumanizing um, component of the culture kicked in early in America and has remained as a deeply ingrained part of this culture. But it wasn't, I don't think, necessarily anti-racial at, 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 at the beginning. It was only racial because black people were enslaved. Um, and and, and you, so you had to justify that enslavement, and so you demonize that race. Um, I, I think it was an economic motive that that um, that provoked the racial uh, an, uh, animosity. Um, and it, although you know there, there was a, a solid cultural foundation for that, I mean, ra the whole idea of race is European is a European concept. Social co social construct. It's a it's a social construct, actually, yeah. absolutely. It came out of Europe because they needed it during the age of exploration. They needed it to justify their exploitation of the natives, the non-white natives that they found in other places. Um, it justified their xenophobia, essentially, and, it, and, and, their, and their robbery, their expro expropriation of the goods and the minerals of wherever the people that they encountered. And, and that's how, you know, that's how the whole idea, the mythology of race began. And it has, you know, it's been, um... But can't, but Sully Moakio, can you persuade, not you, but can it, can someone persuade uh, low-income European Americans, i.e. white people, to say that you, you, uh, you, there are Latinos, African Americans, other groups of people, are just like you, mm. on, 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 a, on a money, on a money level. Mm -hmm. they, they, you know, because poor whites, they probably, well, poor whites may think in the back of their mind, just like slavery and, and the days of segregation and the days of slavery, that, you know what, I may, may, I may have the same amount of money or just a little bit more money than Negroes, those Negroes, these mm -hmm. coloreds, but I ain't them. Yeah, yeah. I am not them. And, you know, I, I still have a sense of white superiority or uh, whatever, privilege, mm -hmm. although I gotta, I'm got i on food stamps just like these black folks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And how do you convince them? It's like the old the old uh, canard, what's the matter with Kansas? Kansas. Yeah. I, I don't care about, I, mean, I know I got some economic co uh, cohesion with these other people, but I is white. Yeah. That, that's a... Uh... That has always been the way um, that the, the uh, ruling class has manipulated uh, the racial um, situation in this country. They used it to separate uh, uh, people who have similar class interests. Um, there were times in this country um, the, the, um, the, uh, <clears throat> the populist movement, uh, for, for example, the, the United Farmers movement, where black people and white people were united in, in their in their struggle in their class struggle but of course that was easily destroyed by the ruling class when they use race to to cause sabotage they sabotage it with r racial um, rhetoric and, and you know uh, racial intrigue um, and that that's often been the case man and, and if we could only get uh, white lower class folks to understand that we share very similar interests it would be over, but see, they know that, uh, and and from the very beginning they knew that, because look, uh, why would a white uh, worker uh, endorse slavery? 
that devalues his labor. Why? It's ridiculous. But if he's told that these people represent some sort of threat, um, they have a cultural animosity, they, 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 they jeopardize your, your existence and blah, 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 you know, boom. And that's been going on for hundreds of years. Hundreds of years, <laughs> hundreds. man. It's been very effective. Man. And the uh, other flip side, I mean, I don't, I, I've only dealt with uh, European, I call them European Americans, i.e. white uh, liberals. Mm -hmm. They tend to be more educated and make more money. But to me, they also seem more, of not more, they seem very paternalistic. Yeah. That's the other problem. Yeah, they they they, they have this still sense of priority, like you know, perfect. Someone not a perfect example is this guy who Steve has called you on the TV show, mm -hmm. radio show. Mm -hmm. He's called me on my TV show. He said years ago, and uh, and you, but they have this. They, they mean they white do gooders. I call them white do gooders. They mean well, but they have this sense of superiority. Exactly. We know what's best for you. Uh, That's why my callers don't like him. They, they you know, he may he may yeah. be. Um, he may be. He makes right, great. He makes great points. But his tone of voice is alienating to them. You know, they think he has this, this arrogance, this white arrogance. That but but that's, but that's been my whole thing. I think when I deal with white liberals, they still have this 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 sense that I know what's best. Mm -hmm. And then when, when I begin to talk about race, or we don't want to talk about. You got to lay the foundation, and the, the foundation is race. There's a big debate well, going I, on right now oh yeah. with, with that. Um, Jonathan Chait, uh, this guy who writes for he writes for um, New York Magazine. Uh, from the New Republic a little bit. He used to write a lot for the New, New Republic, but uh, him and, and Tanahisi Coates, who writes for The Atlantic, uh, a blog, um, they're having a debate right now about that very subject. Uh, you know, this whole white liberals, uh, are they oblivious to white supremacy? Um, don't they understand uh, certain things? <clears throat> and it's interesting, man. It, it is. It is. And, and, you know, there, there are other folks who are talking about this notion of what's the matter with Kansas uh, idea that you have these lower class um, white folks who are voting against their own interests. Um, and, and that's being expertly manipulated by folks who are using race to do it. I mean, the Southern, Southern strategy was the template. And it's been used very effectively because it knows that you can manipulate these cultural antagonisms to provoke uh, political allegiances uh, uh, and provoke political uh, division where you know um, where there should be allegiances, um, and, and 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 you know this dog whistle politics is is being used to in, to uh, solidify the the power of these billionaires. Man, it really is is uncanny how it's being used. How these white these white uh, people are being used. Uh, their racism is being used against them. You're a public it's intellectual. Crazy. You get it. But a lot of folks are a lot of folks are they're non college graduates. They mm -hmm. don't have a passport. And most of us are not very well read, so here we is. Uh, to, I got to get to Barack Obama at the end. We're almost coming okay. to the end of this thing. Mm -hmm. And but and I, well, let's go back to that question. <laughs> our I mean, you did answer it in a very <laughs> professorial way. That are we done in Chicago? Because well, you know, but people got to understand there was going to come a time in a, in, 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 in a relatively dis, uh, near future, relatively near future, there would not be a Jesse Jackson. There would not be a Louis Farrakhan among us. Mm -hmm. President Obama will be the very important, very important people. That's man. right, very we, important. We, we don't, we don't, res, we don't respect and give accordance to Jesse's influence. As, uh, you as know, I saw him in the airport the other day, and I didn't go up to, you know, to see, say hi. That's a long story, but the point is that you got to give the man his props, even just, sure, even distract. That's one thing about Jesse. It's a lot of distractors. I mean, I can talk about Jesse Jackson forever, but he has done some good. For real. And 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 it's in the same in the same the same with Minister Farrakhan, but there'll come For a real? time. Uh, they, 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 they would not be among us. Uh, right. President Obama will be former president. Right. You know, uh, uh, he, uh, Harold Washington was here. There's, there's, there's a few generations that don't remember Harold Washington, or they were born after Harold Washington. Mm -hmm. So what I'm saying is that I know we're not, we should be looking for a Messiah, but what are we doing to move our people forward over the next 25, 30 years? Mm. I don't know. Do we? I don't. Do we need another Gary uh, uh, think tank? That a big thing, in Gary, nineteen seventy. What do we need? Or do we forget about having a big convention, a meeting? We have this internet. We should have some kind of thing that we do it electronically every day, so we can move our people forward. And you know what I mean? Move just the basic. If you have children, trying to get, especially when you get to our low income brothers and sisters, if you will, trying to help those young boys learn how to read and write, and not go to jail and, and get a skill. Mm. Very basic stuff. How do we do that, Mr. Moore? <laughs> well, 
again, man, it's cultural capital. Uh, we don't we don't do it because we we don't have we don't think we need, we we need leadership. To. Where's the leadership gonna come from? I I, I think um, I, I think that the leadership will develop organically if we had the correct direct conditions to to evolve it. Um, I I don't think and 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 it can come out. Uh, you know, one of the things about about living uh, is that you never know what's going to come around the corner, brother. It's always unexpected. We didn't expect the the riots in in '64. You know, like like I said, in '63 we were talking about we shall overcome, and then in '64 folks were in the street throwing um, Molotov cocktails. Um, it ch things changed. So we have to wait for this for oh, a we, real economic collapse worse well, than the well, Great Recession. Uh, what yeah. I'm saying is yeah. we don't know what's, what's something's coming. Like I said, I never thought we would have a Harold Washington mayor. Yeah, I never thought or I, Barack Obama's president. No freaking way. There you go. You don't. You have. If you no way. Exactly. So or, you, or you know medical marijuana, I mean, legal marijuana in Colorado. So, or um, gay marriage. See, you got a few years on me, so you know you're more optimistic than me because you well, got that wisdom. I, I, I know that the arc is longer. That we can't. We have to be. We have to be. Um, <clears throat> a lot more uh, um, uh, contempl contemplative. Uh, we, we have to understand that that uh, this is, this is a protracted struggle. It's not. You don't get immediate answers. Things now you didn't have this wisdom when you were Black Panther or a no, 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 of the no, member I, of the Nation I, of Islam. I, I, even then, brother. <laughs> you didn't have this wisdom I, then. Even then, no. I mean, uh, <clears throat> I you know, I, I came to certain rash conclusions. But you know, you have to have that. That's part of the play too. You, you folks have to. You have to have people doing rash things. Oh, um, we got less than ten minutes. Later. We're gonna be done before the, before the hours up. But okay. Barack Obama, mm -hmm. I never thought he'd be president. It's amazing he he won a second term, and because demographics have totally changed, that's why he did one. Mm -hmm. I mean, the demographics in this country is totally different. Well, even twenty years ago, and but this last few remaining years, where they recalcitrant Congress, mm -hmm. what do you think he should be promulgating in his remaining years in office? I think. Um, uh, dramatic changes in the criminal justice system. I think he has a constituency for that. Um, conservatives are beginning to, 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 to say the same thing because it's too expensive. Um, I think he can really make some serious alterations that are necessary. Yeah, that's really been one of the, the more damaging parts of our, uh, you know, of our problem is this the way the criminal justice system has in in, inflected on our on our development as a culture. Um, when 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 we de when this country deindustrialized during the Reagan years, when it when the black community lost a lot of its industrial wealth, which is the reason that black people were there in the first place in in, in these urban communities, um, we were left adrift essentially, and uh, we've been adrift ever since. Uh, drug the drug. The underground economy came in to take advantage of it, and and we see the result of that. It's been it's been disastrous for our people, and and that's when the criminal justice system, seeing that, began to use uh, uh, whatever levers it could use to to to, to uh, make money on it, to get us out of the uh, the, the, the get us out of the circulation, and, and to to. Um, but how to can profit. Barack Obama promote uh, a change in the criminal justice system without looking? Like he's soft on crime. Well, and and there are certain ways he can do it. Uh, one is what we talked about earlier that is not efficient to jail people. Recidivism is not as efficient as education. Um, the, the dollars don't go as far. You, you can use a certain economic logic on that. And then I think economics in in general that is it is not economically feasible to imprison all of these people. And then he could also use um, which he has. In, recently began to use some social um, justice uh, rhetoric in that here, here these young people uh, m made some mistakes when they were young. Why should they be, um, uh, you know, uh, labeled for their entire life for those juvenile indiscretions? Um, so, you know, I, I, think, I think that, that there is a way he can, he can certainly, in, he can impact uh, the black community by lessening the penalties. So, Mr. Mawakia, uh, your wisdom, your wisdom sees, uh, or maybe you're just hoping for a new capitalism, a new type of capitalism, because ca that capitalism, the old capitalism, brought us here. 
uh, discrimination. Right, so you brought up Cri another subject, brother. Uh, yeah, I know I'm with, within two minutes left in the show. I know. <laughs> yeah. But I'm saying, but that's what you need. You have to have a new type of capitalism. Well, I, I think, I, you know, I'm not, a, I'm not a fan of capitalism. I know you're not. You said it has no moral... Uh, Compass. Yeah. That's, that's the first thing. But I mean, I, I think that it, it reaches diminishing returns. But I think there's a way to get something out of this, and that is a financial transaction tax. All of these enormously profitable transactions that are taking place in the stock market, these derivative uh, uh, changes and whatnot, and, and how, uh, how money is being financialized. The same industrial uh, capitalism that, that brought us to, to the inner cities has it no longer exists. Now it's financial capitalism. Mm. Um, but they're not, the financial markets don't produce any goods. So we really get nothing from them. And they don't pay nothing. So why can't we tax those interactions and use that money as a way of financing some of these? So you're not talking about new capitalism, you're talking about new socialism. Well, I think we need, I think we need to look more favorably at socialism because I don't think we have any choice. Um, you know, I mean, uh, this capitalism is unsustainable. We, we, it's, it is it, unsustainable. It's going to collapse. It collapsed already. Yeah, in 2008, yeah. yeah but, and people don't, it really did collapse. It collapsed. And, and, what's, and, and uh, they have, I don't, ooh, that's another, I can do 20 minutes on that. But that, but that you, that's the only way out of it. I know the, the, the Republicans, they resist these socialistic, uh, even anything that even smells like socialism. Some of that is behind, behind this whole de debate with Putin and Russia. Uh, it, it's the it's the EU against the customs union. It's the IMF and the mother MFs against uh, new arrangements. The BRICS countries: Brazil, Russia, India, and Iran, China, and it used to be South Africa, but South Africa's looking a little bit more dicey now. But they all are trying to, to come up with ways to get an alternative currency, especially China. Russia's talking about it. Russia's talking about taking their support away from the dollar, which would absolutely devastate this country. So we can only go so far in our sanctions against the Russians. Um, but, you know, those are alternatives, man, and they're out there. That's why a lot of people love Hugo Chavez and a lot of people hated him, because he represented that possibility of a new way, a new economic order that could challenge the the EU and the IMF and those folks. This, this modern-day capitalism, the, the wealth has gone so far up to the top, We it has to, some of it has got to be taken from the top, and yeah, from the super-rich, right. and, 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 and given up to the poor, to the masses. Because the disparities between rich and poor are wider now than ever before. If there's no, it, it, either either, either we're going to either they're going to say, hey, we're going to take some of this from the rich, or the whole damn thing collapses, people. You got it, brother. I yes, do. Sir. You Wait, but you say more articulate than I can. You <laughs> I mean I can babble? Makes some sense. You give that. No, you no. give. You put it in. You know. You contextualize stuff much more than it. I can. You hit it though. But I mean, but it's it's so there is some hope. Um. Well, there's always hope, man. There's always hope, uh, Mark. You know. Uh, I I. Uh, you know. I I almost hesitate to say this. You know, I've become more spiritual in, in my own old age. But you know, spiritual in, in, in a certain kind of way, you know, not not in, in the way that a lot of people think. But I mean, there's always hope. I mean, ultimately, hope is all there is, really. Um, and um, you know, so uh, we we we're, we're going to be all right. Ultimately, we will all. Be